So, what we do now is walk you through the steps that you have to follow in the video creation lab. So, this lab is for creating a video for your own classroom. So, what you did so far it is explained here the goals of this lab has been written. So, what you have to do is write first you are exploring the technology tools to create videos or we call them screencasts if they are being recorded from the computer. Then you have to write the learning objectives expected from the student. Uh, please note that when you create the video you generally try to address the lower order cognitive levels and then create a video or screencast for your own course using the tools that we are going to specify in this particular PPT. So, what should a screencast contain? So, some examples of already created uh, screencasts are shared over here. One is in YouTube where content or a topic is being explained and another is there in our website where we are actually explaining a process of creating concept map using a tool. So, note the audio narrations in each and how the video or uh, PPT slide applications are being used. So, some important guidelines that you have to take care make sure that the length of the video is less than 10 to 15 minutes because we you need more engagement from the learner. If the topic is too big for a single 10 to 15 minute video split the topic into multiple videos and name it sequentially. While presenting the animations in video it is better to use audio narration along with it rather than text. This will make animation of the content easier. Tools for creating screencasts there are lots of tools. So, these are some of the tools and this spans across uh, operating systems. So, here we are going to explain the use of screencast-o-matic and record my desktop. So, for windows users you can use the screencast-o-matic it can be downloaded from this particular site a video tutorial is shown in its original site home page, but you will have to enable adobe flash player plugin for the video to play. It is a simple process. So, make sure that you watch the video first before you start recording. So, you can play with the various features in the tool and create some sample videos and show it your neighbors and so on whatever you want to do with it. For Linux users there is a tool called record my desktop a uh, video tutorial on how to use record my desktop is given over here. So, something that the Linux users have to keep in mind is that after recording the desktop convert it the file name will be in OGV format it has to be converted using into FLV using FFmpg. So, the command for doing that is also given. So, these are the slides that you have to fill and submit once you create your screencast. So, make a group of two identify and list topics for the screencast over here. Make sure you choose the topic such that it can be explained in under 10 minutes. So, you have to write the subject or the course and the topic over here. If anybody has already done some screencast like the gentleman from Padma Prasad Singhania college uh, you have to mention yes and you will have to give the link of the screencast that you have already created. So, creating video for your course the next is before starting the explanation write the learning objectives that you are going to target. Make sure that within the out of class segment or in the screencast you try to target recall and understand levels or at the maximum apply level because you cannot target higher order thinking skills through videos it has to be done in class. So, before actually executing your uh, screencast you have to plan for it. So, list all the points that you are going to speak make sure you have specific ideas already in your mind and you note it over here. So, why this is done the main points are written so that you can plan your video well. To achieve best result it is recommended to prepare a detailed script mentioning what you are going to say and when you will say it. So, at this moment you need not do this for this particular assignment, but when you are actually doing flip classroom 
you need to have a script which says at what time you are going to say what. Also create supporting materials, so if there are PPTs or PDFs that you have to distribute to your students, so make sure that you have all those in place. So steps 5 to 8 has to be done using the tool. So if you are explaining using PowerPoint, you open the PowerPoint or if you are using any other application, you open that application, open the screencast tool, it can be either screencast o matic or record my desktop and select the screen area which you want to capture. Just start recording and start speaking through your uh, mic. Once you finish explaining, stop the recording and save your video in the system. Once you have saved the video, upload it in your own YouTube channel, it need not be uploaded in Moodle, you just have to paste the video over here. Since there are issues with Moodle, it may not be possible for you to upload the assignment in Moodle. So we will create a assignment creating video for your own classroom at 5 pm today. This assignment will be open till Friday 5 pm. That means till this Friday you have time to create your initial screencast. Please note that it need not be perfect the first time. All you need to have is an exposure to the screencasting tool and make sure you have a short video explaining a concept and you have particular learning objectives linked to that concept. So possible future actions are given over here, you, can, you may follow this and the next steps of creating activities based on video, you will be doing this as online assignment starting from uh, Sunday where we will post specific instructions on flipped classroom construction.